Your Zoom H5 recorder could be applying an audio limiter to your recordings, even when you haven't selected the effect in the menu. Keep watching and I'll explain and share the fix. Hi, I'm Tosh Lubeck from the DIY Video Studio channel, helping you turn a passion into content. In a previous video, I showed different ways you can use just one XLR microphone with the H5 recorder and end up with a mono or joint mono file instead of having your audio just on the left or right sides. I'll put a link up to that video up on the screen. One of the solutions is to use a menu setting called in one two mono mix or input one two mono mix. It sums the audio from these two XLR inputs on the H5 into mono when recording in stereo filed record mode. In other words, you get a joint stereo file where the audio is the same on the right and left channels, so the sound comes from the middle if you're using headphones or stereo speakers. Now that all sounds fine, so what's my problem with using in one two mono mix on the Zoom H5? Well, it's that the limiter is automatically applied without me wanting it, and it's not just me. Some of my viewers have also considered this to be an issue. Initially, I thought I could turn off the limiting by going into the menu, then the input stroke output screen, and then the compressor stroke limiter screen. But no, it shows that it's turned off for the XY capsule and inputs one and two. For some reason, the H5 is applying the limiter when I use the in one two mono mix function, irrespective of whether the limiter is enabled or not in the menu. Let me show you what I mean. I've got my microphone plugged into input one here on the H5, and I've enabled the mono mix feature. But as I increase the record level using the dial, the limiter kicks in, becoming more aggressive as my audio level approaches minus 6 dB. Finally, I can keep increasing the input level, but the brick wall limiter prevents the audio going any higher than minus 6 dB. Now, before you comment saying that the limiter is there to save my audio from clipping, I know that, but the limiter starts adding color to my audio before the level even reaches minus 6 dB. If I want to add a limiter and compression to my audio, I, I'll want to do that in my editing software, not for it to be baked into the recording. The purpose of summing the two XLR inputs is to prevent my audio being completely over to one or the other side. If I wanted the limiter turned on, I should be able to do that separately in the menu. So is there a workaround to this? Well, I'll say more in a minute, but let me take a moment to ask for your help. Please like, share and subscribe because it will help this channel grow. And to make sure you don't miss any of my new videos, smash that notification bell. Now, back to this video. What I've done about this problem is to get in touch with Zoom. And today I got a reply from the Zoom Studio service team. Now, they said with mono summing in stereo file recording mode, the volume and the maximum recording level are technically limited. In my request, I did ask how I could disable the limiter, but from their reply, it doesn't seem like I can disable the limiter when using mono mix in stereo record mode. What they did say was this. If you record in multi-file mode, you do not have this limitation, and you can also hear the mono input signal on both headphone sides to the monitor. So what we need to do is switch to the multi-file mode on the Zoom H5. To do that, open the menu and scroll to Rec mode, that's Record mode. Then change from Stereo file to Multi-file, and finally exit the menu. Unfortunately, this is only a partial fix because input 1 and input 2 record two separate audio files. Now, because they are true mono files, the audio won't be on the extreme left or right if I only use one microphone. But if I'm using two XLR microphones, I end up with two true mono audio files by using multi-file mode. Whereas in stereo mode and the mono mix function, that'll mix the two microphone inputs down to a joint 
monophile, with both voices or in instruments appearing in the middle of the mix. But unfortunately, I'll have to contend with that limiter effect. Nonetheless, using multi-file mode, as Zoom have suggested in their answer to me, is a solution that works if you're using one microphone. But if you're using two XLR microphones, you'll end up with two mono files that you'll need to combine in your audio editor. Alternatively, the solution is to use stereo mode with that mono mix feature, but to be careful with your audio input settings. Start low and increase the input level until you're peaking between minus 18 and minus 12 dB. This will minimize the effect of the limiter. I hope that helps. Now, if you'd like to know what equipment I use in the making of these videos, please check out the links down in the description. And if you use any of those links, thank you very much indeed for supporting this channel. Also, YouTube think that you will like this video.